Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a scatter plot uh, in SPSS, as well as get the um, R squared or correlation uh, effect associated with the um, regression line. So this is a really basic example. Uh, I'm also going to try to modify the uh, the default uh, scatter plot that SPSS produces in order to make it a bit prettier. So in this case, we've got uh, three variables, but I'm only in interested in trying to make a scatter plot with two variables. We've got socioeconomic status and education. And um, the, I suppose the hypothesis was that socioeconomic status would predict educational attainment. So to create a scatter plot in this case, there's a couple of ways of doing it. I'm going to do it one way, and then I'll show you very quickly how to do the same exact thing in another option. So go into graphs, legacy dialogues, and then scatter plot. And this is just a simple scatter plot, so click on this option here, and then go into there to define. And I've already defined my variables because I've already done this, but this is what it would look like for you. Oops. You'd have your variables on this side, and then you have to put your variables on onto this side. Now on the x-axis, you always put your predictor variable, and on the y-axis, you put the variable that you're trying to predict. So in this case, we're trying to predict educational attainment, so that goes in the y-axis, we're trying to use socioeconomic status to predict uh, educational attainment, so that goes on the x-axis. Now these other options here can be quite useful, but I'm, those are more complicated uh, charts. Uh, I'll probably make another one with the set markers by in the future. So that's all you have to do to actually create a scatter plot. Just include your x-axis variable and your y-axis variable in the uh, legacy dialog scatter plot option. So click on OK. And SPSS clicks, uh, uh, creates the scatter plot. This is the syntax associated with creating a scatter plot in SPSS. So if, you put, if I push this over here, we can actually take a look at what the scatter plot looks like. And it's really nothing, um, not an award winning scatter plot, but we can see that uh, as socioeconomic status uh, increases in value, so does educational attainment. And that's where this um, effect. Uh, this is what this scatter plot actually depicts, is that positive correlation between socioeconomic status and educational attainment. Now, there's a, an important um, element to, that's not included in the scatter plot, and that's the regression line. Sometimes you want to include it, and sometimes you do not. So if you didn't want to, the default is not to include it. But if you wanted to add the regression line in this scatter plot, you'd have to double click on the chart. And then click this option right here, which is Add Fit Line at Total. And there is a created uh, regression line. And there's a couple of options as to how you want to create your scatter, your regression line. But I'm just using the default uh, linear. And then click uh, Close. Now, uh, SPSS, when you add the regression line, actually add, uh, includes the R squared linear, which is equal to 0.281. So 28.1% of the variability in educational attainment is accounted for by socioeconomic status. Now, if you wanted the correlation, you'd actually have to square root this value. Typically, though, when you create a scatter plot, uh, people don't, and you put that in a report, people don't include this type of information. So if you want to include it, then it's there by default as you add the regression line. But if you wanted to remove it, as I usually do, you just have to click on it and then click delete. And sometimes it's quite finicky and it will not delete. Oops. And I select. Let me get out of there. There we 